are here at Choco Con. We are here at Socolo Popolare. I probably actually butchered that name. You might know it on the internet as the most Instagrammable restaurant in London, but also it's an absolutely fantastic place for food. So we're going to find out here tonight. We're going to try some of the antipasti, perhaps some of the pasta, some of the pizza, some of the tiramisu. Let's see what's going on offer because every single month the menu changes. So we're going to be in a bit of surprise. Come on. So for the first course, we had a burrata with tomatoes and pesto. The burrata, I think it was about 250 grams. It's a very sizable portion. Came on a kind of a, a lifted plate as well. It looked very presentable, should we say. It looks incredibly tasty. I tried a bit of bed out and it did taste good as well. Very soft, very creamy. The tomatoes had a lot of kind of citric taste that was coming through and cutting through that kind of rich creaminess of the cheese. My course, the veal carpaccio. Again, it looked very nice and very pretty. The meat looked very tender, um, sorry, it didn't look particularly tender, but when I ate it, it was like just butter, like melting your mouth, it tasted absolutely fantastic. Rose pink, just as it should be with veal as well. So they were absolutely brilliant. For the second dish, we then had the carbonara to share, which they created within the wheel. When it came out, it was a real spectacle, and actually, they dished it up in these quite small plates with tiny bowls within them. And I thought it was gonna be quite a small portion that I wouldn't really have any fuss of getting through. But the flavour of the cream, the egg yolk and the cheese and the pasta and obviously the drinkale, the pork cheeks. Um, it was really rich, really filling, really tasty, nice and salty as well with a little kind of punch of pepper as well within it that it added. So that was absolutely brilliant. I mean, everything we had was fantastic. And that rolls on into the desserts as well. Bidan had like a large, probably the largest kind of like lemon meringue pie dish I've ever seen. I think 90% cream our oh, lemon flavoured cream with like a lemon tart at the bottom. I tried a little bit of that too, it's brilliant. And then I had a, a tiramisu, classic tiramisu, which probably could have done with a bit more texture at the bottom, uh, but in terms of flavour, it was absolutely brilliant. And I think probably the best thing about the whole evening, again, was like the price. So it was 55 pounds each for three courses, including drinks and service. Uh, and everything tasted absolutely fantastic and the actual service and light was brilliant despite a slightly slow start. So I think for them, I'd highly recommend going, go checking it out. The food changes every single month and tastes probably just as fantastic every other night as it did today. It's a good, you know, solid 9 out of 10, maybe even 9 out of half of 10 for that place. But we'll be on and upwards, onwards and upwards. We'll be moving on to new places in the next video. So stay tuned, stay subscribed, like and leave a comment below and we'll be in touch soon. Take care, bye.